<laughs> Newton's first law of motion is often stated as an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Newton's first law can also be sometimes referred as the law of inertia. Well, hello, I didn't see you there. And in, in the example we have here, we have Chris pushing Maurice on top of the table at a constant velocity and they will continue at the state unless a crash. And it is an unbalanced force that acts upon it. And because of that, Maurice will no longer share the same force being applied with the desk. And as the desk comes to a sudden halt, Maurice will keep the same speed and in return, slide off the desk. So now we will be going into Newton's second law. And Newton's second law involves acceleration. And if acceleration is the rate of change of velocity of an object with respect to time. An object's acceleration is the net resultant of any and all forces acting on the object, as described by Newton's second law. And deceleration. M over I squared. Gravity, or gravitation, is a natural phenomenon by which all things with mass are brought toward or gravity toward one another, including objects ranging from atoms and photos to planets and stars. I'm sure you can understand the gravity of this situation. Eh, 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 eh. We are currently defining the laws of gravity by being upside down. If we could turn the gravity back on, that would be nice. So, because the gravity turned back on, we in turn fell back down to the Earth because of gravity pulling us down to the center of the Earth. Hello, everyone! So today, we will be explaining Newton's third law. And Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So, what this means is that in every interaction, there is a pair of forces acting on the two interacting option, uh, objects. The size of the force on on the first object equals the size of the force on the second object. Wow! So what you just witnessed was an action-reaction moment. Maurice pushed Chris, so in response, Chris hit Maurice, and Maurice fell back. Well, that, my friends, is what we call acceleration. <laughs> <laughs>